द टाक लग्जूरियस माफिया किंग्स बेडरूम वॉज ब्राइटन बाय द सन लाइट विच वॉज स्पीकिंग थ्रू द करटन्स एंड डिस्टर्ब द ब्यूटी स्लीप ऑफ द कपल हु वर टेंगल अंडर द वॉम शीट्स Groaning boringly, Tang opened his eyes and found the beautiful sight of his shy wife, who was smiling towards him. "Good morning, my lady. Good morning, Tang." He kissed her hair before pecking her forehead gently, as this was his love language. He cherished her, protected her, loved her, but never tell her because his actions were louder to understand her what she wanted in his life. Being in an arranged marriage with the most fearful mafia was the hardest task for Wayan but everything went so smoothly when she got to know the real Tang out of his dark side he was the guy a husband which every girl wanted but Wayan was the luckiest one to get him His personality was cold and reserved but she adapted his this side with his loving side because every person had flaws and we should accept them with their cause and flaws truly On the other hand for Tae Young, Wayan was a perfect life partner who was totally different from him yet so understandable. Did you sleep well? I always sleep well when you are next to me. Cupping her cheek, he kissed it with his thumb, making her smile as he always found peace in her embrace. Pulling her closer, he nuzzled his face in the crook of her neck, raising her heartbeats. After the exhausting day, your embrace is my only cure. Being a shy wife, Wayne didn't say anything and massaged Tang's scalp gently, showing her gratitude. Both of them stayed like this silently, feeling each other's warmth and enjoy the morning time. I should take a bath. He gently scooted away from her without breaking the eye contact with Wayne and whispered in his deep yet seductive voice. Wanna join? Tae? She hit his chest shyly because other than kiss nothing happened between them since Tae Young was waiting until she was ready for him. His desire for her had no limits and he was eager to perform them one by one as he always imagined. You are so cute. He pinched her nose before leaving the bed and in meantime Wayne arranged Tae Young's clothes as he liked to wear what his wife chose for him. Done with her lovable work, she also headed inside another washroom to take a warm bath. After an hour the powerful couple was ready and holding each other's hand they went downstairs to have the breakfast Hello Tayang it's been a while Alaya the daughter of Tayang's father friend and she always had eyes on him but only get his ignorance hmm Not even giving her a glance he pulled a chair for Wayan which was so surprising for Alaya his cold heartless personality was contrasting with his action so she's the girl you get married Hello, I'm Kim Wayan. With a genuine smile, Wayan introduced herself, but Alaya's smile was fake one. Myself, Alaya. I am Tang's friend. Tang raised an eyebrow but remained silent. It's nice to meet you, Alaya. Hope we get along as well. Alaya pressed her lips into a smile, but deep inside her jealousy was growing and she continued the breakfast. It was evening time. Wayan was painting in the room. Painting was her habit and it made her feel calm. So you like painting? Yes, this is my kind of paradise. Wayan rested the brush inside the glass water bowl and devoted her whole attention to Alaya. You know, I have always liked Tang, but you ruin everything. Wayan was taken aback, but as a calm and composed person, she still talked to her politely. I know life is so unpredictable and we never get everything we always want. You are right or else who had thought that a girl like you will become a partner of Tae Young? Hey, jealousy was written all over Alaya's face and words which Wayan was not going to take lightly. Maybe because Tae Young likes the girl who paint canvas instead of their faces. The answer from Wayan was so unexpected and not holding her rage, Alaya threw Wayan's latest painting making it a mess. It's not you, but you are overconfident talking. But let me clear you. I have known Tang since childhood. He never loved anyone in his life, and you are also not special for him. If I am not special for him, he would never treat me like his queen or made me feel like a most luckiest girl on the earth. It was enough to boil Alaya's blood, but before she could even let out more words, Wayan walked away from there, leaving Alaya to burn in jealousy. It was Wayan Pierre's first day and Tang took her with him at his office because he wanted to take care of her. He treated her like a queen as she mentioned and wanted to make sure she was fine. 
Currently, Tian was working on his laptop and Wayne was laying on the couch, resting her head on Tian's lap. Arranging everything, Tian decided to go for the meeting room, but to Wayne's surprise, he took her with him. Tian, what I will do in a meeting room? Just stay and keep your eyes on mine. As they entered the meeting room, everyone got up to greet him, including Alaya, as she was back in Seoul for business purpose. Tang sat on his king-size chair, but to everyone's surprise, he made Wayne sit on his lap gently. Wayne was looking at Tang in embarrassment and was about to get up, but he held her firmly. Stay. His authoritative voice enough for her to stop her action and silently she rested her head on his chest avoiding the gaze people were giving her especially Alaya who was controlling her calm Is something wrong no sir so what are you guys waiting for start the meeting The meeting started and Tian was enjoying every reaction of Alaya he heard her conversation with Wayne and couldn't help but proud on his wife the way she handled Alaya After that he wanted to show her what place Wayne had in his life He kissed Wayne cheek gently as she fell asleep in his embrace after an hour meeting came to halt lights got turned on causing Wayne to open her eyes and she found herself still inside the meeting room while everyone gazed were on her blinking her eyes she looked down and heard shocking words of her husband as you all know i am infamous for my cold reserved personality everyone inside the meeting room was stunned yet remained silent they didn't know how to react in front of the king but i also have a heart which only belongs to my special one shocking expressions filled their faces because they were the least person on the earth they were expecting those words from him my special one my lady my wife kim wayan who made me fall for her harder and deeply Wayne heart raced that he said those words unexpectedly in a most unexpected situation. I love you Wayne. You are my first love and will be the last forever. Blush crept on Wayne's face but her heart beats stopped when he captured her lips tenderly. His lips were moving against her delicately only showing how much he cares, love and cherish her. Alaya realized that he did everything to make her feel worthless which exactly she was feeling and like others she left the meeting room angrily. Tang also break the heartfelt kiss and could see his wife was so shocked and embarrassed at the same time. Everyone was present Tang that's the point my lady I want them to show how much you mean to me especially that Alaya. Wayne made an O face with shyness and he nodded kissing her cheek with his thumb. I just confessed want to say something um actually i also love you tay the way you treat me love me without saying cares about me makes me feel so special that i couldn't help but fell for you harder she accepted her true feelings and felt him pulling her more closer that her chest was pressing against his muscular one She gave her consent and Tian couldn't hold back his desires. He took her in his arm like a bridal style and made his way out of the meeting room to make her his fully. After a few hours, the couple were laying on the bed and trying to catch their breath while smiling towards each other. Are you okay? Yeah. Tian took her in his embrace as gently as he could and kissed her hair since she must be in pain. Thank you for the beautiful night. Her face turned into the shade of deep red that he couldn't hold himself from chuckling and she immediately hid her face in his chest. Oh, now my wife is shy. Hmm? Okay, I want to see you. Now you stay here. I'll be back in few minutes. Covering himself with sheets, Tian went to the washroom to arrange a warm bath for themselves. Coming back to the bedroom, he took her in his arms carefully and headed to the bathroom. An hour of relaxation, Tang held her to change the clothes and change himself too prior to embracing her in his arms. Coming to the bedroom, he rested her figure on the bed and joined her too. Feeling better? I still can't feel my legs. I'm sorry, I was just carried away. He kissed her forehead with concern, but with a sweet smile, she held his hand with assurance. So okay, Kate, it's not like you hurted me on purpose. I'm so lucky to have you, my little wife. A smile formed on his lips as he kissed her fluffy cheeks with the back of his fingers gently. 
so am I, my loving hubby. With a courage, she pecked his lips for a few seconds. The tail was definitely shocked, but soon a playful smirk came across his lip. I won't do anything but let you sleep peacefully. Good night, day. He sang a song for her in his deep, loving voice until she fell asleep and he heard his wife's cute snores. Thank you for coming in my life and making it euphoric. Forming his hold around her, he rested his chin on her head and closed his eyes to it.